everybody a few things to note about Layton if you're planning to add it to your collection. The first is that this is an apple cardamom vanilla fragrance. It gets the freshness and the tartness from the apple, the sweetness from the vanilla, and the sexiness from the cardamom. Second thing you should know about Layton is that performance, scent trail, and longevity, or performance, scent trail, and projection, 20 out of 10. This thing easily lasts over 12 hours on your skin, even longer on your clothes, okay? This fragrance does not stay quiet whatsoever. I did two sprays of this on the bottom of my sweater this morning before I went on a walk because it was super gloomy and cold outside, and my sister was about an arm's length away from me when we were walking and she was like, man, you smell really good. I like that smell. So this thing definitely does not hide or shy away from anybody. Radiates really, really nicely. Third thing to note about Layton is the compliment factor is so high specifically with women. Okay, girls really love this scent. I think the only people that I've seen personally critique it at least, well, you know, with my comment section have just been men saying that it's like too sweet on them or like they're getting this Vicks sort of smell. But every single time a girl has been in my DMs talking about this fragrance, it's nonstop love. All the girls in my comment section, when they see this, like, oh my God, I love that. I love that. All the girls I know personally that have smelled this on me, head over heels for this fragrance. Okay, so this scent just has the ladies in a chokehold. It's super super sexy and another thing to add on top of that is yes this is mass appealing but it's still unique and i'm going to tell you why you might roll your eyes when you hear Layton being unique but that's because you're in the fragrance community you watch fragrance videos so of course this thing is super popular right but when you go out there and you're talking to people that you talk to on a daily basis you know out there in the real world they don't know Parfums de Marly. If you ask somebody, have you heard of that Dior Fragrance Sauvage or Dior Sauvage? Most people are going to be like, oh yeah, I've heard of that or Bleu de Chanel. Yes. But if you ask, hey, have you heard about Leighton by Parfums de Marly? They're probably going to say, what the fuck is Parfums de Marly? They don't know the fragrance and they don't know the brand. So yes, this niche brand is still unique out there in the real world. It does not have like the name recognition that your Chanel Gucci have. All right, so yes, it's still unique. The fourth thing to note about this fragrance is the versatility. This is a four season type of fragrance. The only time that I wouldn't suggest wearing it is on a very hot summer day, okay? But summer nights, summer evenings, fall, winter, spring, you can wear this whenever you want to because it has that freshness from the apple that I mentioned in the beginning so you don't have to worry about oh damn i can only i have to wait six months before i use that fragrance you can pick it up whenever the hell you want to pick it up you know so that is a great thing about Layton. and the fifth thing to consider is the price point now when you're thinking of a niche fragrance like i've mentioned in a couple videos the price point is going to be around the 200 300 range i don't remember the price like of Layton currently, but I'll put a link for a discount site in the description in case you want to buy it at a discounted rate, okay, for the full size bottle, or I'll see if I can find a tester as well to save you a few more dollars on top of that. But if you combine everything that I just said previously in this video, and then you look at the price tag of, let's just make it high, like, I don't know, 285 $300. Is it really $300? I don't know if it's 300 but anyways, I think that the price is justified with this fragrance, okay? It's totally wearable, very sexy, performance is great, extremely mass appealing, but still unique in some way, you know what I mean? So if you are looking to buy one of your first niche fragrances, if you're trying to make that step from standard designer to niche, I think that this is an amazing fragrance to go for. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. If you personally are disappointed with this fragrance, first of all, I'm here. You can send your bottle over. The second thing is that wear it when you're at a party or wear it when you're around other people, specifically girls, and then get back to me on how people like the fragrance. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Again, the name of the fragrance, it's in the title, but I also have a discount link in the description that I'll find for you. All right, have a great day. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.